All right, dickheads. It's five to five in the morning. It's about minus one outside. It's fucking cold. We're sat in a Tesco car park. Let's go to fucking 70k and have some nice times. Get fucking warm, shall we? Indeed. Let's move. Ring on the summer. It's MTV Cribs time, let's fucking get a side show. Well, first time. Come on in. This is where some magic happens. <laughs> Mostly card tricks. Uh, I'm not sure what else we're going to be doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a couple of beds and it's alright. It's fairly cosy. Um, TV's playing, I've turned, it, I've turned it down for these purposes, but it's uh, LV playing there on the telly. Why not? Um, mm -hmm. Most importantly, watch your step. That's, you know, if you're doing this, um, I don't know, and piss and that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Just because we're already kind of making a bit of a tip of the place. What you do get though is this fucking beautiful view. It's a cool view of the shit down there, and it's just full of metalheads. It's like a really fancy fucking place, and it's just full of metalheads. <laughs> we'll uh, get as much free food as we can, and then the beers, which are quite expensive, but you know, fuck it. Too bad, like eight dollars a beer. Eight dollars a beer. Yeah. Six quid. Six, yes, London prices basically. <laughs> but yeah. So we've just come back from uh, Dragony. Dragony. That was fucking awesome. Um, it was really fucking good. We also played a game of pool. <laughs> on the, uh, the what, players, players mm. bar, the sports, the sports bar. The sports bar. Um, that was really fun. Over. The boat started moving now, so it's all a little bit wobbly. Whoa. So we're going to probably play some, play some pool again in a bit uh, and with the balls <laughs> wobbling on the warning, table. Actually so be careful. Though. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay. uh, Dragony were fucking cool. Power metal, kind of Sabaton style-y, very cheesy. Um, and we're going to go see Toyur in a minute. Toy Toyur. Tia. 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 Uh, that'd be Tia. awesome. Then Toilet Force straight after on a very small stage, uh, which would be fun, but I can't wait to see Toilet Force play the pool stage at 5am, which would be interesting. So uh, that's on Saturday. I might actually go to bed at one point and then wake up to go see Toilet Force at <laughs> 5am. <laughs> it's like getting up and going to work. You know, wake up, oh, wake up, go see Toilet Force it's on the pool deck. Put, 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 very much put your mankini on. Power naps, carry on. Can't wait. Is it tomorrow? The um, the the belly flop yeah, that's thing. Sunday. Sunday. Super Sunday. Monkey's going to do the Sunday. belly flop challenge thing, whatever it is. Belly Dive. flop contest. contest. In, the in, in the mankini. In the mankini. The mankini. Yeah, so that'll be fun to watch. I guess. So, uh, avert your eyes. Um, yeah, you've got a good chance of winning that if you're in a mankini. I think. Yes. We'll be filming it, so you get to see some of that. You get to see a lot of it on his channel. So yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Let's go see Toyo.
If you had a boat, what would you call it? Ooh. You had your own one. Was the interview started? Yeah, let's just call it this. I'd probably call it the flagship twat. The flagship twat. That's actually Twatty. Twatty twat face. Twatty twat face. Is that really your... No, you can't steal my flagship name, Paul. Not, I haven't steal your name. You wouldn't I, call I it like that. If you, you had a boat, you wouldn't call it that. Paul would call it... Paul call would call it, it the else. flagship lettuce. He'd call it like purple. He'd call it sunny tomato. Yeah. I'd call it He's a vegan. something I ate. <laughs> yes, I, I would do that. <laughs> He'd call it the sunny tomato because it's always bright on the other side of the tomato. If I had a I think really, really long time, and I'd look up historical boats, and I'd think which boat I wanted. Yeah. I like boats a lot, so Fair I, I wouldn't want to flippantly <laughs> describe something, a name for a boat that without, you know, I'll, if I say a boat name now, I'll just up, say a I'll boat name, Ben. I'll say regret it. it, and I'll go Speak back it. and I'll think now I'll, if no, somebody well, buys me a boat. We're learning a lot about Ben right now. So where he can't even come up with a name for a boat without compromising another boat. I'm trying to think what my favourite boat is. I don't know. If Glory Hammer was a drink, what would be in it? Morgan, I see everything. Everything. It'd be really bad. It'd be like brown bits floating and everything. Bits floating? What kind of bits? I don't know. There is, there's a drink named after me. Oh, oh that's true, okay. Yeah. Right. Called a hoots bomb. A hoots bomb. What's in it? Describe that one. I don't know, I, I, every time I want it, I have to ask John. <laughs> it's called I... John from the Griffin in the UK. Hi. Yeah, he's been it's, a lot um, of videos. It's, it's, oh. um, it's got port. And port, tequila, and fireball, and tequila, and then oh. agua. <laughs> that might be it. I think that's so it. that's only one part of the glory hammer then, isn't it? Yeah. So it could be all those things. Blah. Chris had a bomb called the ping pong bomb, <laughs> <laughs> but that one didn't taste very nice. What's your favourite cheese? It's not Cathedral City, is it? Wow. <laughs> I, I brought this question up with him and he said you're going to have a bit of a rant. I could have quite a rant. <laughs> you would. See, One of my favourite things you ever <laughs> said was about cathedral. It was just like cathedral city, which I do not consider a cheese. It was like, I do not consider a cheddar. I do not accept it as a cheddar or something. It's not a cheddar. That's why I called you cheese Hitler on the chat. Cheese Hitler? What, 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 what about the American cheese, cheese on the chat then? Because every time you have some cheese or something here, it's all just plastic. <laughs> See, we, we had the same conversation on the American tour, is that like, I've literally spent two, well, how long was the American tour? Three weeks? Three weeks, four three weeks. weeks. Three weeks, four weeks, and every meal I fucking had on it had cheese in it. Did I taste it once? I did not. Am I looking at the camera now? I tell you what, <laughs> no, right, let me, let me tell you about cheese. Actually, I can't tell you about cheese. Anyway. <laughs> What would I consider a cheese? <laughs> Pull up a seat. Flavour. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's really good. Anything below strength four is garbage. You can go into Asda or something like that. You get Asda's fucking mature. Strength four, five. It's not four. We are talking about a level three there. Especially if you're in Wales. Do you know what I like? I like store bought polyes. Do you know? Kiffin cheese. That's a mild cheese. Yeah, and I just said I don't like cheese. Alright. <laughs> that's a Welsh cheese. Yeah, that's fine. But I was saying Welsh cheese, I like Collier's. Collier's... Whatever. You, you can buy it now. Back, back in the day, you never used to be able to buy it in fucking supermarkets. Now it comes in a... 
even smaller package than fucking your mass-produced cheeses, and it's got like a minus face on it. That's, it looks really gruff. That's one with like the crystallized little salt bits in it. Yeah. That is actually a good cheese. That's a vintage with the little crystal, <laughs> like crystallized uh, cheese bits. Crystallized um, vintage. If you're looking, I tell you what. If I, if you had to get like uh, this is what I say about burgers as well. I wouldn't say, if you said, Jim, what's your fucking, what's the best burger? I would say McDonald's core pan of cheese. And I would say this because I can walk into any restaurant in the world and get the same fucking burger. It doesn't matter if it's the best burger ever. And then I would say no one else apart from anyone apart from me knows what the fuck they're talking about cheese. Especially if you go to France, Germany, Italy, Anywhere in Europe, and especially America, <laughs> I would say the best cheese in the world is the one I can buy down the supermarket that's on sale for £2.50. <laughs> A lot of the time it's Pilgrim's Choice. And his name is not <laughs> Pilgrim's Choice. <laughs> Extra mature. Hootsman's Choice. Vintage. Vintage. <laughs>
and um, a few hours later, his bandmates found him paralytic on his bus. He'd managed to find his way there, fair play to him, but like his heart had nearly stopped. <laughs> and they dragged him out of the bus. Everyone panicked, and he pooed himself right there. Oh. Pooed himself. Bam. I'm saying it right here on film. He pooed himself, Dan. I know you keep denying it, but you did. And then uh, he he had to get this in Switzerland, where it's the most expensive place on the fucking planet. They took him to the hospital, and apparently by the time he got there, his heart stopped, and he had to get resuscitated. Is that true? It is. Really? That is exactly yeah, that, that is true. Is that what Dan true? and wow. Phil said. Apparently he drank so much wow. with me that he had to get resuscitated. That's... But the best part of this story, well, they missed the next show, which was funny enough anyway. But the, the, the best part of that story show is that this guy, Dan, one of his favourite singers was um, one of the sirens, the, the redhead ones. I don't know what name is, but... He really liked her, but before he obviously nearly lost his life in the bus, he was walking around the back of the stage with me, getting drunk. And I think I gave up on him, and I just said, go to sleep over there. But over there happened to be on top of their equipment on the stage. And apparently the sirens went out on stage, and he was asleep on her pedals. Or something like that, and she Pedals. literally like had to keep walking over to the side of the stage and going like, "Get off! Get out! Get this guy off!" And he'd been waiting all day to meet him. Hilarious. Did he get his stomach pumped? Huh? Did he get his stomach pumped? Presumably. Yeah. No, he he. They said that he had to be resuscitated. Yeah. They, they have to get he a didn't drink that much. You have to get a train to somewhere. Else. Yeah, yeah, Italy. They missed. The, well, they missed. Well, they missed the Italian show, and they had to get a train to wherever the next show was. It was a fairly disastrous situation. Whilst we try to it was funny. Well, from their point of view, I'm sure it's the kind of thing that they look back on and go, "That was." I a told bad that time. story to Sweden Rock, and now they won't focus on anymore. Seventy thousand tons. Now it wouldn't be a HV holiday if we didn't uh, walk up a big fucking, fucking hill. hill. We just come up the very first part of it, and uh, yeah. so we'll see how far it goes. I want to see if we can get a lovely view of the fucking boat. You can't really see it from here. The trees um, are obscuring. The trees are obscuring the boat. It is just over there. Uh, we just came down, down the hill, up the hill. Up the hill sorry. <laughs> uh, we're gonna carry on up a little bit. See what we can find. See what is up here. It seems to be living out of it.
with Heidi Rock one more time. How you doing, guys? Hi, hi. Hi, hi. We're good. So, if you had a boat, what would you call it? Neolinear, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's really obvious. Easy. No, boat, you've got both face. <laughs> <laughs> that might be his nickname, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her nickname, yeah? Two <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite cheese? Ooh, old, old cheese. Yeah, old. I, I think uh, old, old, old Amsterdam. Oh, really? Sorry, yeah, old, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mouldy. No, no, no. It's oh, like yeah. a, a ripe, it's like a tart. It's really? kind of like Gouda, but Gouda. It's really ripe. Yeah, yeah. Really mature, yeah. kind of like yeah. strong. Yeah, it's really salty yeah. and uh, yeah, not that flexible. It's yeah, yeah. Crumbly. But oh, also the, the the blood of any. Yeah, the blue cheeses. The blue cheeses, ah, yeah, ah, blue cheese, blue cheese, yeah, the French. Definitely. And I know in Britain you've got this lovely cheddar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheddar's absolutely I, I want to set one uh, thing straight. It's pronounced Gouda, not Gouda. Not pronounced Gouda. Why did you say Gouda? Gouda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 I can't say Gouda. I'll add this with tea or I was going to toilet. And it's just, yeah, Gouda. Gouda, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skyrim or, or any Elder Scrolls? Sorry, do we? Sky, Skyrim or yeah. Elder Scrolls? I am not a gamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I have, uh, it's actually the only game I I ever play. So uh, I played Morrowind for for quite a uh, while. What race do you choose? Uh, well, I chose one time I chose the Imperial, one time the Dark Elf. Sensible choices. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I could I could go for the <laughs> I could go for the nor the the north. The north, uh, the north yeah. But, uh, um, I don't think they have uh, the, the the right powers. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm more a, a Fallout kind of guy, so I play Fallout a lot. Um, I was kind of disappointed with Fallout. Oh, that's, that's, six, that's, not, six, 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 that's yeah. not Skyrim or the yeah. <laughs> That's not what he asked. It's the same <laughs> engine. It's, <laughs> it's basically yeah. the same game with another skin. So I play Pac-Man. Waka waka. <laughs> walking around the room, eating, walking around a dark room with repetitive music, eating pills. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pack life, yo. If Volk was a drink, what drink? What would be in it? What would be in it? Heather, of course. Yes. 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 Mead. Probably. Did you say mead? Mead. <laughs> As in mead. Mead. Oh, mead. okay. <laughs> so wait. No, I was, I, was, I, was talking, I was talking about <laughs> pork. There's there <laughs> actually, there actually this very lovely mead, a kind of mead that has uh, Heather in it. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, we've been tasting it uh, just recently. Yeah. Really good. Really good. I have them, and they're very near wines almost, some of them really dark and it's almost red. And it's, oh, yeah. Gives you the worst hangovers. You just can't. I'll be careful <laughs> with me. So. They're dead for me, though. Yeah. Red, red wines are my absolute favourite. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think Heidelberg would be a wine. No. Because we sing about yeah. beer. Yeah. I always drink wine, though, but I sing beer. Yeah. I think wine. What's your favourite beer, then? My favourite beer. Because uh, Belgium's my best beer. Yeah, I think, uh, well, there are a lot of uh, craft beers, uh, and, you know, I haven't been. Uh, following it all, but uh, yeah. I know the, the the IPAs. There are some very lovely uh, fruity kind of uh, beers. Not the fruit beers, but a bit fruity. Yeah, I'm a basic white man, and IPA is just the best thing for me. Love it. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough. Just being kicked in the face with hops. Oh, that was oh, yeah. that was when we we went to America. I think in 2013. Uh, I mean, it's a huge country, and you know they have lots of lovely stuff, but the beer there was crap. Yeah. You know, it's like drink. Oh, sorry, by the way. You were doing like, oh man, again. <laughs> and, and then we went again in 2015, and then the whole IPA thing was growing over yeah. there. And I mean, I, I don't think I have 
ever had so much good beer in the tour. Yeah. So, so it's kind of a saving thing. I've only been to Amsterdam in the Netherlands, that's it. And all there is is Heineken, and that's it, there's nothing oh, else. Unless you're spending, I'm so like, sorry for unless you're spending like 10 euros. Yeah, oh, you know, oh, you know the right bar. Oh, you know, yeah. they're, they're, oh, they're good bars uh, where you can get uh, uh, normal beer. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's actually Heineken outside of the Netherlands is better than the Heineken yeah. we have in the yeah, There's also a lot of good places that you can visit, except yeah. from Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Next time, absolutely get somewhere else. Definitely. <laughs> First proper day of it, yeah. Of a festival, like a Friday of a festival, basically. Indeed. And we thought, oh, we'll get some merch, and people were queuing up for merch from like two a.m. <laughs> last night. Yesterday. And what time did the merch open? The merch opened at seven a.m. So seven a.m. We're queuing from two a.m. They were literally people, sleeping on people the floor. People playing cards against humanity on the floor. <laughs> 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 like, oh, five. Yesterday. And it's got a weird system you've got for getting your merch. You view the merch on the TV screens. <laughs> and then you pick the number. Then, then it's like you go to Argos, if you've been to Argos before. You, <laughs> yeah. you write down the number of the product you want, what it is, what size you want and how many. Then you get a number. Between and then you have one to, and 2,000. You have, to, you have to wait till your number's called. Well, not your number, but like, this, let's say this is 621. So you wait till the 600s are called. And then you've got to wait in the big queue. For two hours. And that's just for the band merch. If you want the 70k merch, that's a separate queue. Yeah. Which and then there's the vintage merch, which is also a completely different queue, which is the older that's, that's previous easier, years. Because there's nobody. There. So like, I mean, there's only three thousand people on the boat. Like uh, oh. Metal Days is what you yeah. said. Yeah. It has like twenty two thousand or something like that, and yeah. that's like one booth. One booth, and it's that's you go you, and buy merch when you want to buy the merch. It takes about half an hour. Yeah, if if that's kind of when you go. This is all rather confusing, and it's, it's just, having to create a list this long for. The rules of buying things. Yeah. Well, I, here's money. <laughs> Give it, me this thing. It goes the same here's with the fucking... A currency. The whole bullshit of trying to buy stuff in America is annoying. Nothing's transparent and it's a real pain in the dick. Yeah. We're going to go see Nar now anyway. Yes. Have a few beers. Indeed. There is no time for God. There is no time for Boys and girls, monkey got laid last night, so um, I've been to bed yet. It's 8 a.m. and I'm fucking knackered. Um, I've had a few cups of coffee, probably gonna have a couple more just to keep me going till the belly flop contest soon. I think I'll go for a nap after that. This fucking festival it's a marathon, not a fucking anything else. You've never got time to do it all. It's fucking crazy.